Hello YouTube and welcome to another screwdriver restore. Look how bad that is. We're going to make kind of like a pry bar of it. It's not going to be a screwdriver. We're going to sand out that with various grits of sandpaper. And then we'll polish it with polishing compound, whatever we have. I don't think that's a high quality plastic handle. And I had a green, really nice SK screwdriver like this. I don't think this is an old snap-on. Somebody suggests maybe it's a proto, but it could be anything. Companies made stuff, put other people's names on it for them. So. There you go. There's enough view of it. So let's take a couple before pictures. Let's get to work. I'm scraping this with my sharp razor sharp knife just like it was wood to get rid of that. I just got rid of it L-shaped. Bad spot. You'll never know it. Excuse my rough voice. Okay, we're getting carried away. We took the quarter sheet sander to an 80 grit. It's better going this way than this way. This way it wants to dig into the plastic and really rip it up. This way's better. It don't stay in one place too long. It will warm up. Now we're going to go to like 150 grit and see what happens. It's just an old screwdriver. We can't ruin it. If anything, all our lines are going to be going the same direction. So, yeah, it works better this way if you want to get brave. I would do it. Ain't got nothing to lose. The screwdriver was cheap. Okay, that's 150 grit. And we went pretty fast. We'd get on and we'd push, to push it really fast to get off there. And don't stay in one place it too long it will start getting the plastic hot it's not really super quality plastic or like the old days I would say there's that whistle time to go back to work okay we're down to 220 and we washed and dried it so you can get a better look still a lot of scratches in there we're gonna go with the Next, we're going to go with some 1200 wet dry with some soapy water. We'll see what happens. Okay, that's a bunch of 1200 grit wet sanding, and that's what it looked like if I'd sprayed clear on it. It would be that nice. I really don't know if I want to put clear spray paint on it. We are going to try to polish it. If that don't work, we will spray clear coat on it because it's just a tool. Cause that would be plenty good enough with some clear spray. Okay, back to work again. Well, this is the best we're going to get this. And it looks better on camera, believe me. There's a spot. Is that spot where I got carried away on the buffer wheel? Yeah, I bared down too much. That's all it took. It'll get hot real quick. It's a working tool. We did this with different abrasive wheels. This thing's about a foot long, four and a half inch handle. We're going to make some kind of tool out of this. Maybe take everything off and make a real skinny pry bar. See how bad that is? Deeper than one side. So it's off to the bench grinder to play. We're going to take a break first. But no, there's pitting in here. Don't let me fool you. See all that? See, it's just a tool. So Good enough. It does look better than what it did before. So break time and then we'll be back when we do something with the tip. Well, this is what we came up with. Because it was ground so far back we matched on both sides. We just tapered it down the best we could on the bench grinder. A uh, couple grindstones in my Dremel and a sanding drum. And then all the abrasive wheels in my drill over here. So... It still has a screwdriver tip, but just narrower. So, would well, it be a pretty big jet in a carburetor to get out with that, huh? I wonder if there is such a thing. There you go. Still can be used as a screwdriver. So that handle is good enough for a work tool. Okay, thanks for watching. Look for the pictures at the end.